Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's time to come back to uh, the Beowulf, Wolf of Unknown Origin for another clear. Um, early on, uh, got some requests about like, you know, what can I do if I don't have Dwayne? What can I do if I don't have, um, you know, uh, to be, you know, what, what are some replacements? And so um, got back in the lab. It's been a little, it's been a busy couple of days. I haven't really had a chance to do a whole lot. I know we're, we're only a few days left of this event. So want to try and get this out um, for you guys um, and make sure that you could use this if you wanted it. Um, and we're going to do a clear that does not have Dwayne, does not have um, to be and does not have pause of prosperity. Uh, that's, that's for you, Tony. So no pause of prosperity needed here. Um, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be, there's going to be some similarities to the last clear. Um, but there are some differences as well. So we'll go ahead and dive into it. Um, go ahead and put all the mods on. Um, and there you go. And here's our team. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the camera so you can see the gear. Uh, there we go. And, uh, we're going to start with Abigail. Um, you can see now my Abigail's EX3, so that gives us a little more flexibility in my my team comp, so that's exciting. Um, here we are. So I've got mine, you know, built like this. Um, Crimson Furisode, not a requirement. Um, so that, that came up before um, in some of the comments. You do not have to have this. Just give her something with dark resistance and, you know, whatever. Um, this is just a good item. You do not have to have this. Um, she's wearing a Blizzard Orb. Um, she's got Priest Vengeance, Priestesses, and Lightning Fast Legend, just like before. Um, Winged Heart now. Um, and she's wearing, in my in my run, she's wearing Sylvie's Vision card. Um, just to help generate some more morale. There you go. Abigail does Abigail things. Um, Sylvie is geared a little bit differently here. She's wearing Eurytus Hairpin. Um, just gives her a little more HP. Gives her some, uh, some uh, regen and things like that. Um, it helps with the morale fill. We do just fine. We cap out morale just fine in this build. Um, and here we are. Um, you know, if you don't have this, put on something else. It does uh, a regen effect or something like that. She's wearing Vilk's vision card here. Um, that helps us fill morale. Um, there you have it. If you don't have Vilk's, put on hers. Um, we we do fill the morale just fine. So you could definitely take that off and put on Vilk's instead if you don't have it. Shift form's a little bit different. She's wearing her sword because we are going to use her not so fast ability. Um, and then she's got, again, blizzard orbs. Blizzard orbs we are using in this because um, there is a turn where we could die. Um, and her counter brings us back to life. So that's good. Um, she's got some... Uh, nullify stuff and then some counter chant stuff pure lotus etc um but uh she's she's sylvie does sylvie things esther geared all, uh, the exact same so that this build has not changed from the last run um if you don't have you know dragoon helmet jacket um you you don't have to have it this definitely helps her have um, her true double hand um but she's geared the exact same um difference here she's wearing peppermint rod um a galbano lilies for more morale fill uh, and that's pretty much it. All the same stuff. So no pause of prosperity here. Uh, you can you cannot worry about that. Um, there you have it. Um, we do not have Dwayne. So who are we going to use as our leader? We're going to use Rain. Um, now in our base form, he's wearing a two-handed weapon. Um, best two-handed sword you've got. You know, um, you know when Horatio and I were working on this together, um, he had a different weapon here. I've got this one. So there you go. Um, my gear's a little bit different from his as well. Um, and so, you know, I do have Mask of Ashura on um, and um, different true double hand stuff because this is going to help him out in the, in the last part of the fight um, when he does not have the uh, accuracy or when we have an accuracy problems um, and when his shift form wears out. <laughs> so um, there you go. Uh, he is wearing Dwayne's vision card, though, because his base or his shift form is dual wielding um, and I've got him geared with as much stuff as I can. He's got Tyvus Spirit, um, and he's got 400% um, Demon, Beast, Machine, LB damage. Base form has it too. Um, he's got 400% Demon, Machine, Beast. His LB damage does not matter because he's not using his LB. In the base form, he's going to be using Pulverizing Force, um, and that's it. So, there you go. Uh, we are still keeping Chizuru. She's wearing the Empress Rod in the base form, Goblin Lilies. She's got. She's gonna be leaning into all of our gear, so she's got um, ruler stuff, ruler stuff, um, and then just a bunch of morale filling stuff. She's wearing still um, Esther's Vision card, and then just geared the same. So she's got all the killers, um, her double hand beast, demon machine, LB damage. Um, if I could work um, 
the uh, if I could work the elemental uh, chaining in, I would, but I can't fit it in. Uh, but she's gonna be our our highest DPS, our highest attack unit. I believe she's our highest DPS unit as well. Um, and there you have it, Chizuru. Um, now, um, we don't have 2B, um, so we needed um, somebody else that's going to be able to chain Extreme Nova um, to go with Chizuru. Um, and we're, we went ahead and go with Olive. So Olive is, is nice. She's pretty self-contained. She's got magic boost. She's got um, a 90% break for herself. She's got Ian frames. She's got the ability to do damage outside of her limit burst as well. She can use her dual, dual summer shot. It's pretty good. Um, and here you go. She's our, um, she's gonna be wearing our, other, our ruler stuff. Um, and she's, you know, pretty high magic there. Thanks to rain's leader skill. I know we've got a Lynx hat here. It's, 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 um, you know, not a requirement. You could take Lynx hat off and just put another high magic hat on. Um, I just kind of like it. So we're wearing it. Um, but she's got all the killers she needs. Um, and she's wearing dark rain's vision card. Um, that's going to help us get our stats up where we need them. Um, and she's also wearing Ibarra's mask. Maybe you don't have an EX2 or EX3 Ibarra, but you happen to have an Ibarra. There you go. There's some demon killer for you. But she's got everything she needs. Beast, magic, LB, demon, machine. She's even got some elemental chain. So she's good shape. Um, so there we have it. There's our team. Take a quick look at our espers and stuff. That way you can see it. Um, I am going to pause the video right here um, just in case there's an issue and I don't want to go back through... Um, and do that description of all the gear and everything. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and do that now and then pick up and do this video. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gear camera off and we'll go ahead and pull the actions up so that way you can see what we're doing. Um, like always, I am gonna be putting a, um, a turn chart in the description um, and in the comments. So take a look there um, and we'll uh, get you through this one. So we thought morale fill was good last time. With rain on the party, it's way better. Look at that beautiful morale filling footage. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull my turn chart up here. Um, so first thing we're going to do is Abigail is going to do um, her two breaks to fill morale and then contingency plan to fill morale. And there we go. We're already almost full or uh, past the like starting point. Sylvie's going to do petals, vines, and burgeoning, just like always. There we go. Shizuru is going to do um, eastern, strong, and breezy. There we go. Olive is going to do gunner, guardian, and then just her morale filling skills. Now, Esther is going to do Stormbrand, Energizing Bunny, because she's, she's going to be giving us some killer there, and Shatterbolt. That'll fill morale. Rain is going to do um, Enfiraga, and then he's going to use um, Prominence Fall twice, just to hit the boss, seal the boss, do a little bit of damage, like very minuscule damage. And um, there we go. Yeah, it just, just seals the boss. It's, we get morale for hitting the boss with a weakness, too, so... That looks pretty rough on Abigail, um, but she counters us back to full. We're fine. And just from our passive morale fill, we are like well into the, you know, into into the player side morale. So we're doing great. Um, this time Abigail's gonna cover, and then use her two um, breaks just to continue filling morale. Sylvie is gonna do vines, petals, and compassionate, just like the other video. And then Shatterbolt times three to fill morale. Rain is going to chain with that using Pulverizing Force. Chizuru is going to chain with that using um, Beast Pulverizer. And Olive is going to do Break, Break, Killer, Killer, Buff. Um, and that's going to be kind of her next few turns. Go ahead and do that. It's completely independent. And these three are just going to chain it up. Um, that way they can do a little bit of damage on the boss, continue filling morale and stuff like that. Cool. Um, we're going to get accuracy debuffed here. It's okay. We're fine. And um, we are honestly just going to hit reload here. Um, reload is going to take care of three of our units. So rain uh rain ester and olive are going to do the same thing this turn. So it's fine. Chizuru is going to shift 
and she is going to use dedicated to fill morale. Sylvie's going to shift, and she's going to use um, Marion's blessing, and then double cheerful to fill morale. We're going to go ahead and do that first. Abigail, because we've got it now, we're going to use her SLB. Very good. And then, um, like I said, Olive can just do whatever. And then these three are going to chain, just like last turn. There we go. And 12%. We're looking good. Notice we didn't use Esther's LB there, so that's a difference from our last video. So that's why you don't need Pause of Prosperity. Um, Olive is going to reload. Sam Zuru is going to reload. Rain's going to do something different. Rain is now going to use Grace of Will. Um, oh, we have to shift. Sorry. Rain is going to use Grace of Will, which is going to push morale. Um, he's going to use um, Unyielding Conviction. And then he's going to use Elemental Burst Fire. There we go. Um, Esther is going to go to the base form. She's going to Calm Before the Storm Bolting Slice. That's going to chain with Chizuru. Sylvie, before we do any damage, is going to use Poach Demon on Sid Chizuru. She's going to use a Cheerful to fill morale and a Clever to put up a Sword in Peril. There we go. Awesome. Um, Abigail here is going to, before we do any damage, she's going to use um, Drone Type F to dispel the boss and then just break break. All right. Now, um, we're just going to send Olive again and then just send our chainers. And they're going to do a little bit of damage, um, not a whole lot, because the boss does have us accuracy penalized, but, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so we're at 95% health. Okay, so the chaining on this is a little goofy because rain doesn't quite match up with everybody else. So, so we're going to start with Leaping Love just to get it out of the way. Um, our chain is going to look just like the last video where Esther is using her Bunny Bolt Blitz LB, put up the LB field, and then um, chaining with Lightning Bolt Barrage. Chizuru is going to tag chain, Olive's going to chain with Chizuru, and Rain is going to go a little bit before. So what you're going to see is Olive and a or, um, Esther and Abigail start the chain. Rain's going to jump in around 11 hits or so. He's going to send his. Um, and then Chizuru and Olive are going to start chaining, and Rain's going to kind of weave into it. And we're hoping to see um, a nice cap. I've done uh, as, mo as much as 2.7 here um, and as low as 2.5. The, the risk here is that if you do too low, you're not going to push the threshold. Um, but let's take a look. And here's where if if uh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to restart and um, you know pick back up where we left off um, using that save point that we made. So here goes. Uh, we'll send the first row and then the back row. Nice. And we did 3.0. Well, uh, way more than I'm expecting. That's pretty cool. Um, did I not have a modifier on or something like that? I don't know. That's... Wow. A lot more than my previous test did. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Uh, Olive here will go ahead... Or not Olive. <laughs> Abigail will go ahead and do contingency plan to start, you know, powering us back up. And then she'll cover. Um, and then we're going to use a bar fire raja, and that's going to just fill LB gauges and stuff like that, um, and just kind of give us a, a stat buff. So, uh, there you go. Sylvie is going to redo the paladin's blessing here, or the, the lightning blessing. Go ahead and do bolt egg, um, and then use paladin's defense for mirage stacks for the party. Esther's going to redo the buffs, and she's going to use bolting slice as our third action. Rain is going to um, um, Unyielding Conviction, Armor Grant Me Power, and Prominence Fall. Um, Chizuru is back in the base form, and she's going to do 
Eastern strong and staunch. That doesn't have to chain, so that's fine. Um, in fact, we're not doing any chaining here. Um, this is turn six. Turn, and then Olive is going to do um, defense break. Um, machine killer. She's going to buff herself. Oh, wait. No, no. Turn six. My, my, my bad. Uh, she's going to do Gunner Guardian again. Um, both breaks. Uh, machine killer and her buff skill. There we go. Yes. Okay. Um, and we'll just go ahead and just send these two. They're not really chaining at all. It's fine. You don't really want to do that much damage here in, in the next couple turns because um, if you do, the boss will heal and that's bad. Um, so turn seven, we're going to use our um, infallible will ability. That's going to give us accuracy. Which is going to be good for rain because, uh, yeah, we're going to need that here on turn eight. Well, I guess it's not really going to matter that much because we're going to get the uh, accuracy buff go debuff goes away on turn eight. So it's fine. Uh, but either way, we're going to go ahead and use it here. Um, we're going to use SLB. Sylvie is going to um, poach demon on Chizuru. We're going to clever strike uh, to fill LB gauges. And then we're going to not so fast on the boss. And that's going to get rid of this nasty attack and magic buff. Okay, we're going to Magnus and Bolting Slice twice. We're going to Beast Pulverizer here. They're going to chain. Olive is going to try and cap that chain. Um, we're going to use, in this order, Break, Machine Killer, Buff Skill, Dual Shot, and then her Magnus. Um, and Rain is going to use Type of Spirit. Cool. So he can do that whenever you want. And um, this is the th uh, dual shot is the fourth action. So you kind of want to send your chainers on the second action. So we'll do break, machine killer, send the chainers, and then all will cap. So um, here goes. Break, second action, chainers. Nice. Very good. 55% is a good place to be. All right, turn eight is another burst turn. So that same uh, kind of timing that we did last time is gonna work here again. Uh, we'll start with Leaping Love. We'll go ahead and use Lightning Bolt Barrage, Bunny Bolt Blitz. Um, again, if you don't have, um, if you don't have uh, Lightning Fast Legend or the other Extreme Nova Frame Materia stuff that you can give to Abigail. You could always use Esther's um, Quantum Storm ability that gives Abigail EN frames. You just might have to work your timing out. Um, there you go. Do what you can. Um, Olive's going to LB. Chizuru is going to shift and LB. Very good. And Rain is going to, on his last turn of his trance shift, use his fully powered up Scarlet Eruption. So. We've got Sword and Peril in place. Um, he's got the stacks in place. He's got Tyvus Spirit. The only thing he's missing here is his 150% amp, but we do have a 100% amp from Sylvie. Um, and um, on this burst, the highest I've done is 2.8. So this burst should poten could potentially do more than the last one. Um, so if you didn't cap last time, but did push the threshold, this one may very well push the, the, the damage cap for you. Um, but the timing's about the same. So Chainers front row, Wait till you see about 11 hits. Rain will go, and then the other two a little bit after that. So um, here goes. Um, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. 2.6, that's fine. We hit the damage cap twice. There we go. Sylvie got a nice counter in for us. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So here, um, we do need to fill LB gauge for Chizuru. So we're going to use Abigail to use um, Bar Fyraja twice. And then we're going to use uh, Methodical Mitigation to help us survive this turn. Okay. 
Okay. And then uh, Sylvie is going to use Poach Demon on Chizuru and then two Clever Paladin Strikes. Hmm, we didn't quite get the uh, LB here. So um, that's all right. We're going to go ahead and just adjust, and we're going to Magnus Bolting Bolting. We're going to Pulverizing Force. Um, and Olive is going to... Ooh, I hope we do enough damage here. We'll have to see. Um, break, break, killer buff buff dual shot man i hope we do enough damage here hmm. i guess worst case scenario we'll, we'll use devastating samurai slash because it's it's 600x this one is the same Yeah, we'll just do that, um, and we're going to hope for the best here. Uh, we will go ahead and use our <laughs> buffs, give us all the edge we can. Um, and she's using dual shot as her last action, so we're going to we're going to send our chainers on the uh, third skill of hers. So uh, hope for the best here. Okay. Hopefully we do enough damage. We were really hoping to use her shifted limit burst there, Chizuru's. Um, we will see how we do. We can definitely do it this time. All right, now, um, Sylvie here is going to go ahead and use I've Got Your Back on Chizuru, um, and then do Clever Paladin Strikes to fill. If we didn't have it, you know, if we had used her LB last turn, we're using Clever Strikes to refill this turn as well as um, I've got your back, which doesn't give her a nice buff as well. Now, because I'm a little worried about, um, I'm a little worried about, uh, damage, I'm going to, instead of guarding here, I'm going to go ahead and have Abigail use flamethrowers just to contribute a little bit of damage. And I hope that's enough. We're going to use three bolting slices here. Um, rain is going to, um, use Pulverizing Force, Shizuru is going to LB, and Olive is going to... Okay, Olive is going to Defense Break Killer, Killer, Magnus, and Dual Shot. So again, we're going to send our Chainers on the, um, the third action and hopefully do, um, you know, enough damage here. Um, just in case, we're again going to use our attack and magic buff. And we're going to use our infallible will. Oh, man. Mm, I should have done Paladin's offense. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Um, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and... Mm, we might not be okay here. That might have been a mistake. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, so we'll send Olive, and then our third action, we'll send everybody else. Um, one... Okay, we got it. Whew. You really should have used Paladin's offense there <laughs> uh, for the accuracy buff. Um, but we still got it. It's fine. It matters a lot more if you're using Rain for dual wielding. If you're since you're using him um, as a, a double hander, it's not that bad. Nice. So I'm a little curious to see who our damage dealer primarily was. Chizuru. Okay. Yeah, so Chizuru is the carry here. Um, Olive even outscoring Rain. Um, but remember, Olive does her burst multiple times, has the 90% break on board. Um, and uh, yeah. So cool. Let's see what we get. Uh, and I don't care about any of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, lock that in. And uh, like I said, I'll put a... Um, 
a turn chart in the comments. I will put a turn chart in the description as well. A uh, big shout out and thank you again to Horatio for kicking my butt, making me do this. Um, you know, he, he sent me a bunch of like information and videos and I've just been so busy the past couple of days. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and do any of it. So I'm glad we got it done. Um, and with, with a couple, you know, a little bit of time left for folks to um, still potentially work out some clears. So hopefully this is useful to you. Um, and we will see you tomorrow, technically a little bit later today because it's like 12.07 in the morning um, and news will be out in just a few hours. Oh my gosh. Um, Tuesday preppers will be tomorrow or today, whatever you want to call. Um, in the meantime, uh, we will see you then and you guys be good to each other. Take care.